any plan in competing on stage? Alright guys, what up? So welcome to episode 4, okay? So today, we weighed ourselves, I was at 86.7 kilos. So my weight loss has been like fluctuating a lot. So it's been like going up and down. We did hit a new low weight this week. 86.1 is my lowest right now, but today I was 86.7 kilos. So it's kind of disappointing, but it's fine. It's all good. So I'm gonna have my lunch right now. So today's video, I'm gonna do a Q&A. So I'm gonna answer the questions that I got on Instagram. So before that, I'm just gonna show you guys what I'm having for lunch. Just wanted to show you guys again. So for lunch, okay, I have a uh, white rice, some sriracha sauce at the top, some broccoli, okay. They got some cauliflowers in there as well, some broccoli, and then also lots of chicken down there as well, all right? So yeah, so that's gonna be my first big meal of the day, all right? And I uh, also got this Pepsi Zero here as well. Okay, so this one is the vanilla one, which is the zero calorie one, so yeah. So, and also one more thing guys, okay? Whenever I consume this, normally I finish up like one bottle in like four days, okay? So I don't drink one bottle per day or nothing like that. It's just whenever I have like the sweet cravings, this kind of cola cravings, so I go with this. Uh, and yeah, so it lasts me for four days. So I'm gonna enjoy this meal right now, and then we're gonna start with the Q&A, all right? So I'll check in with you guys then. Peace. Alright, what up guys? So I just got done with lunch. Okay, right now it's for 4.05 p.m. Okay, so I'm about to hit the gym but in half an hour. So you know what? I'm decided I'm gonna do my QA video right now, okay, in my bedroom. Okay, so I did put up an Instagram story like uh, sometime ago, I think it was 17 June. Okay, so this is the story right here. Okay, so you guys can see. So I'm gonna pick some random questions here. Okay, I'm not gonna just like pick pick. I'm just gonna pick it randomly. I'm just gonna answer it. Okay, there were some really interesting questions as well. So I'm gonna answer them as okay. I'm gonna answer as many as I can. I don't wanna drag this video up too long as well. So I'm gonna pick like the really really most common questions that I've gotten from most of you guys. Like if it's a really common one, then I'll go with that. And then you know we will just go from there. All right. So I'm just gonna scroll all the way down first to the first ever question. Then from there we'll work on it. Okay. All right, so what is your targeted body fat percentage for your current transformation? Okay, my starting body fat was in uh, episode one, right? I think it was 22 point something percent. Now my targeted body fat percentage is about six to eight percent, a true six to eight percent, all right? Um, next question. Bro, when did you start your fitness journey? I actually started my fitness journey the very first time in 2015. Uh, February, that's the first time I actually took it seriously and that's when I really started it. I did go to the gym in 2014, 20, 2013, I said 20, <laughs> 2013, 2014, okay? But that was just like for fun, like I just went to the gym, you know, like some people just go to the gym, just carry some dumbbells and then you just chow. That's what I did. So 2015, I took it seriously and that's why I really, you know, learned up and took a part in whatever I wanted to do, you know? I just wanted to, uh, ah! I just wanted to learn as much as I could. Did you train abs during your bulk? And what's your best workout split? when you're bulking okay now did i train abs when i was bulking to be honest with you guys i did not train abs at all okay so when i was dieting down last year i was cutting down i trained abs almost every alternative days i would train at least three to four times a week uh once i was done with my diet uh it's more of a mental thing so it's like when you start putting on body fat you kind of lose your abs right so in a way i looked at it like I'm losing my abs, so what's the point? I train my abs, you know, and all that kind of stuff. But actually, you should train your abs when you're in a bulk because that's when you can actually build your muscle, okay, your abdominal muscles. It's the same as every other body part, right? When you're in a bulk, you want to take advantage of it in a surplus. You want to build your biceps, your triceps, your chest, your back, whatever not, right? Your legs. Same thing goes with your abs as well. So I would highly recommend you train your abs even when you're in a bulk. Uh, what's your best workout split when I was bulking? My workout split is a little weird. I do pull up push pull legs, but I kind of switched up based on my weak points. So my split was actually legs push pull legs again and then i have a day just for shoulders another day just for biceps and triceps you see so i'm basically hitting every body part twice a week except for my chest and back all right uh best way to lose water belly fat okay water weight is something you should never be worried about you know you can just uh, cut down your water or you can eat like anything like a natural diuretic food like such as asparagus or uh, you can even just do cardio to you know just let it water weight out that's about it you don't have to worry about water weight at all okay Okay, bro, give some diet ideas for students. Okay, if you're a student, I was a student right when a year ago. So I was dieting about almost two years when I was in college okay, and in uni. And uh, it was a bit difficult at first, but once you kind of get the rough idea, then it's all good to go. I would highly recommend students actually flexible diet. So if you can actually do like, if it fits your macros, okay, I-I-F-Y-M, 
it would be great because being a student sometimes cooking is very difficult not unless your college allows you to cook it's a different case scenario but in my college uh, in my university we are not allowed to cook at all but i still did cook a bit here and there so therefore you got a really flexible diet i would say just make sure every meal you get in you have a certain amount of uh, carbohydrates you got a certain amount of fibers which is from your veggies and all that and then you make sure you have a good uh, obtainable protein source i would say normally that like chicken fish, eggs, it depends where you're coming from, you see, so yeah, and it's also personal preference, right? So for me, most of the time, it was actually just rice, chicken, eggs, some veggies, okay? So you just want to make sure you control that portion. That's the most important thing. Okay, cardio before work or after for stress? Now, uh, I'm not so sure what he meant by before work. I'm going to assume he's saying before workout. All right, now, it depends on personal preference again. Let's just say if you're the kind of person you really want to build up muscle mass and you want to maintain that muscle mass, I highly recommend you to do your cardio right after you're done with training. Let's just say if you have the accessibility to actually go to the gym twice a day, then you can do like a faster cardio in the morning if you want to, then train in the evening. But if you're the kind of person you only can go to the gym once a day, then I would say go and focus, uh, prioritize your weights first. The main reason why, if you do cardio first, like 30 minutes, you're going to burn out. Okay, because you're going to burn lots of calories. You're going to burn three, 400 plus calories. Who knows, right? How much you're doing, how high the intensity is. And then from there, what's going to happen is because you've already burned all those calories, you want to go and lift the weights. Your strength will not be as good as it could be. It could have been before you actually do the cardio. Okay, so I would highly recommend you do your cardio right after you're done with training. Okay, that's in a way you can actually cool your body down. Or what I also recommend myself, or also what I recommend to my clients as well is you can actually spray the half, let's just say for like half an hour cardio, you can do maybe 10 minutes before you start training, just to warm your body up a little bit and then do 20 minutes right after you're done training as well. Okay, so that's the personal preference kind of thing. Currently in a thin body and my metabolism is high, how do I gain weight? Very simple, just being a caloric surplus. Being a caloric surplus, okay, I'm going to put it right here for you guys, okay, I'm going to just type it out here, caloric surplus, and make sure you train consistently, and on top of that, be very, very patient. A lot of people, these days, their patience level is like very, very low because everyone wants to see results within a week and two. But it does not work like that. I've been training like for about what now, like uh, four years, you know. And everyone out there who is in the bit bodybuilding industry would have trained at least four or five years. You gotta understand, this is a marathon. It's not a sprint. So it's gonna take some time. Thank okay? Any plan in competing on stage? I've been getting this question a lot okay, on even on Instagram and I've been like denying this a lot as well okay but since it's in a QA and a video I'm gonna answer this I am comp all right guys so sorry about that the battery the battery in that sorry the memory card got full okay uh, so any plans in competing on stage I am competing this year okay I'm not gonna tell you when I'm not gonna tell you which competition or nothing like that all I know is I'm gonna stick by my diet for the next uh, I think we have 14 we have 12 weeks left 12 weeks left so yeah i'm competing this year there's a little clue right there i'm competing with a few of my friends as well so yeah it's my first time i'm competing so i'm really 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 nervous but i'm really looking forward to this as well okay so it's an all new like whole new challenge for me which is super exciting okay so yeah um does waist trainers help to get rid of love handles no it's false i have diarrhea and I'm losing weight at the same time I'm planning to lose weight is it good? dude no no you're not losing body fat if you have that you're not shitting your fat out you're not shitting your fat out you need to understand that okay when you have diarrhea you're just releasing all your shit out so that way you're gonna lose a little bit of weight you're gonna lose a lot of water weight that's about it that's about it you're not losing any fat once your diarrhea is done like you obviously at one point your diarrhea is gonna be gone right once you start eating like a normal human being, your weight is just going to spike back up right away. Okay, so no, it's not good. At what age should one join the gym for gaining? Okay, this is more of a personal preference kind of question. Okay, to be honest with you, um, I've seen people who started at the age of 13, 14, 15 and look insane by the time they're 20, 21. There's this myth where they say it actually stunts your growth. I don't think that is true at all. Okay, so yeah, it depends on you. If you have like a, if, if it's a passion for you, you can start when you're young, you can start when you're 14, 15, 16, nothing wrong with that, you know. Uh, but I would say the younger you start, it will be the better, okay, because you learn more throughout your younger days as well. Do you watch Bollywood movies? Nah, nah. Is lifting weights good for girls? Yes, it is, okay. Uh, I think girls are just afraid of lifting weights because they tend, they might think that they might look bulky and stuff, that you will, that will not happen because girls genetically, you have lower testosterone levels, so for you to actually produce muscles. It's not going to be some, anything like guys, or else you have nothing to worry about. You should definitely lift weights, okay? So, please do, okay? Don't just stick to the treadmill all the time. 
uh, when should I take my protein? Should it always be after the workout? Okay, it's a post-workout shape for a reason. It's called post-workout. So post-workout means you want to take after you're done training. But however, your protein intake like right after your non training or if you take it in the morning or evening or whatever your protein intake is still going to be the same right so it doesn't really matter but i would recommend you to actually take it right after your workout maybe if you're doing two scoops a day you can do like one scoop right after your workout another scoop before you go to bed or you can do two scoops right after your workout you know it depends it comes down to personal preference i would say as well can we build muscle and strength while on the cut? Uh, unfortunately, you can't. Uh, scientifically, you can't because you will be on calorie deficit. Therefore, you cannot actually put on muscle mass. But however, if you're a complete beginner, we call this beginner gains. If you're a complete beginner, the first time you're doing this, then you can definitely see like some body fat loss and some muscle gain at the same time. Okay. However, if you're doing it for some time, you're an intermediate or you're a pro, then um, if you're bulking up, you're going to put on muscle mass. However, if you're cutting down, you putting on muscle mass is actually very, very tough. All right. So it's not really going to happen. Just in a deficit. What's your age? I'm 23 years old, um, turning 24, end of the year, September. Lower reps and higher weights or higher reps and lower weights is best for fat loss. It doesn't really matter. Uh, I would recommend you to actually just not say stick with low reps, but stick. You would want to carry heavier weights when you're dieting now or when you're on a cut. Uh, the main reason why is you would actually want to preserve your muscle mass. For example, if you are cutting down right now, you're on a deficit rep and you will not be as strong as you were on your bulk because the amount of calories you're consuming is lower therefore your energy output is lower as well right so of course your strength won't be there but you would want to try to lift as much weight as you can when you were on your bulk main reason why that's how you preserve your muscle mass if you tend to just go like super low in weight and go high reps and blasting out you try to preserve your muscle mass it's a bit more tougher therefore you might lose some muscle mass as well don't get me wrong when you're on a cut when you're on a deficit you will definitely lose muscle mass but however you can minimize that by lifting heavy as well okay why are you so cute? You know what's the worst part? I think a guy sent me this. Shit. Okay, someone asked me, is it healthy to lose 2 kilos a week while on cutting season? Ah, uh, 2 kilos is actually a little too much, but it depends on your starting point. If you're extremely, extremely heavy, within your starting point itself, then losing 2 kilos is not very, very hard. However, if you're a bit more in a fit range and then you want to cut down from there, you're already lean, and you want to bring it to the next level, you want to get shredded, 2 kilos is a little too fast, I would say. Are you coming to India? Uh, no bro, I've been to India a couple of times but not anytime soon. When are you getting married? Dude, <laughs> I've got at least 10 years left to get married, okay, so you've nothing to worry about that. I'm 14, can I go to the gym? My height is 162cm. Go ahead, nothing wrong with that. Have you tried keto before? I have tried keto before, extremely low in carbs. Uh, it did work for me, I won't, uh, but however, I did lose a lot of muscle mass. How do I make money and how much will it be, dude? P and C, man. Okay, <laughs> I ain't gonna tell you shit. Uh, which app do you prefer to follow workout routine? KRFitness.com, dude. That's where I get my workout routine from. Okay. Uh, how to get rid of uh, chest fat and lower tummy? Please help. Okay, chest fat, lower tummy, love handles, thigh fat, ass fat, whatever it is. Overall, it's body fat and the only way for you to drop your body fat is if you're in a caloric deficit, train consistently, be patient with that, okay? What happens is, you cannot spot reduce. So you, just like how when you put on weight, you can't choose, okay, I want to put on weight in my hands. Now I want to put on some fats in my ass. It doesn't work like that. So just, that's the same thing that goes with fat loss. You can't choose where you want to lose fat as well. It happens as an overall process, so give it some time, right? But it will happen eventually. Uh, when is Spartan Lettuce gonna launch again? How dope is it gonna be? Ah, uh, it's gonna launch in July, okay? July, hopefully end of July. Ah, uh, how dope is it gonna be? It's gonna be pretty damn late, okay? Because all the products we've released before has been pretty good. Uh, no complaints whatsoever, so it's only gonna get better, all right? Fat burner supplements have side effects. To be honest with you, I have no idea because I've never consumed fat burners at all before. But from what I've heard, the only side effects is like for example your heart rate can go up really fast you might be awake at night like this kind of weird weird stuff you might feel a bit nauseous that's about it okay but it depends on how your body reacts to it as well if you want to take fat balance it's fine but don't go and take like extremely strong ones you know start with the really you know decent ones i guess okay this is a good question is all my protein supplements are sponsored to you or you bought it okay i am a my protein athlete so therefore all my supplements are sponsored to me so yeah i'm actually very very blessed for that so thank you my protein you know for sponsoring me so yeah it's been more than a year i've been with them as well and i generally love majority 
I would say almost all their products that I've tried, I've loved it. Especially their snacks, dude. Their snacks are sick, which is crazy, right? Especially the six layer bar. They just give out the six layer bar, it's insane. So yeah, how to use creatine? Is it necessary for build muscle size? Okay, uh, how to use creatine? Very simple, just think about three to five grams a day is good enough. Uh, at any time of the day. You can take creatine pre-workout, post-workout, intra-workout, in the morning if you want, whatever time of the day, as long as you get it in. Uh, I used to take it post-workout just with my shake one shot because it's easier that way. Uh, is it good for muscle size? Okay, I'm assuming is it good for you know gaining some muscle mass? Yeah, it is, I would say, because it kind of helps with producing ADP energy in your body, therefore, you might get a little bit more strength out of you, but that's about it. So yeah, so yes, you can go with creatine, nothing wrong with that. What's your current weight and height? My height is, I know why I get this a lot, my height is about 177 centimeters. okay? My weight right now is about 86.7 kilos that like I mentioned today. What age did you start gymming when I was 19? Your thoughts on meal timing and also how many meals do you have in a day? Alright, for meal timing, it doesn't really matter at all, okay? Uh, you can eat any time of the day because at the end of the day, you just look at it this way, look at this equation, alright? You eating, like, in the morning, Afternoon, evening, night is four meals a day, and each meal is 500 calories. You're gonna get 2,000 in total, right? All right. Let's just say that is scenario A. Scenario B, you have only lunch, you only have dinner. Each meal is 1,000 calories, which is 2,000. So both of it is equal to one another, right? So at the end of the day, it's all about your calorie input. So you don't have to like you don't. Have, there's no such thing as a specific five meals a day. There's no such thing you have to eat six meals a day, two meals. No, it does not work like that. It all comes down to personal preference and convenience and your schedule. So let's just say if you're the kind of person you don't feel like having breakfast, then don't force yourself. Save your calories for later on, you know? If you're the kind of person you're working throughout the whole day and you know you're not the kind of person you have the flexibility to actually go out and get food all the time or to go and cook all the time, then it's fine. Just prepare your meal in advance. Or if you're the kind of person, if you're a frequent eater, then do about five to six meals a day. If you're just a very big appetite person, like you in one meal you can go like a super huge bowl, but then that meal will last you like throughout the entire day till your next meal. So you can have like two meals a day. So it all comes down to personal preference, all right? Get laid or get shredded, dude. There's only one answer to this. Let's get shredded. It's always it's all about the shreds, man. It's all about the shreds. There's nothing sexier than you looking in the mirror shredded in the morning, okay? Then you getting late. Trust me, getting shredded is just way up there, right? Okay, one last question for the day, all right? How to get flat abs? How to break a big stomach? Okay, how to get flat abs, all right? I'm assuming he's saying how to get flat stomach. You need to be in a calorie deficit. You need to drop your body fat down. Because the only way for you to have abs is to drop your body fat down. Your overall body fat has to drop. You can train abs every day, you could do like 1,000 crunches every day, you're not going to see your abs because that one layer of fat is still going to cover your abs. So therefore, you need to bring your body fat down, alright? And that's how you basically, you know, like the other question, break a big stomach, so yeah, okay? I think I'm going to end it here, alright? Uh, I don't want the Q&A go too long as well, so I'm going to end my the video here. Uh, so this is episode 4, so next episode, I'm not so sure what I'm going to be filming. Could be a day in the life, could be a training video, could be an instructional video, I have no idea. So however, if you guys got any kind of ideas, just leave a comment down below, okay? And yeah, also I want to thank you guys so much for your support. The response so far has been really, really good. Okay, much higher than I expected, I anticipated, so thank you so much. So leave a comment down below, leave a thumbs up for the video if you enjoyed it, okay? And um, I'll see you guys in the next one, okay? So, peace.